Ben Shapiro dropped a new song with Tom McDonald, and it was hard. It was hard. You guys sent me this video, so I want to check it out. It seems like Ben Shapiro got some more to say. I don't know why he dressed like he about to join Run DMC. I, this this looked crazy. Um, but uh, all right, he tried something different. Tried something different. Let's see what he has to say, man. Let's see. Yo, yo, yo! It's my homie Tom McDonald. Tom, been a hell of a weekend. So, G, that tell me crazy. about uh, how Smoke Facts is song. doing. He's number one on the iTunes charts in the United My man says, so, G, did you learn how to do that from MC Hammer? Who taught you? United States is trending all the way up to number two worldwide, but we're facing some entrenched opposition from members of the industry who don't like the insurgent campaign that we have been waging against. And they just they don't know the true artistry of hip hop, I think, from people like, I mean, you actually know what you're doing, but like Ooh. from me. I don't think anyone expected me to just, you know, be as amazing as I am at this, clearly. And and I've got the... He's joking and trolling, but he actually was really good. Like, he, he did his thing thing. That was really impressive. Bling to, like, I'm, I'm ready to go. I've been hitting all the clubs, leading a new lifestyle. But we still have to overcome some obstacles, Tom. Absolutely. Well, it's nice to see you uh, entrenched in the culture. The, 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 the craziest part about this is I almost showed up dressed as you today. Um, but That's yeah, man, uh, it's been, you know, for your first That'd step out funny. the door, Ben, uh, you absolutely killed it. Uh, we're, we're number one in all genres on iTunes, number two, uh, worldwide on iTunes, which is, uh, unheard of, especially for somebody making their first rap song. Wow. Um, you know, Nicki Minaj dropped her diss song today against Megan the Stallion. So we're up against some stiff competition, but, uh, thus far we've held down that top spot. I, I don't think she's going to be able to shake us, man. I don't think so either, especially because, I mean, uh, I saw that, that, that Megan, the stallion, the, uh, that, that she actually, um, she lowered her price, that she's almost giving it away. I mean, I mean her song in any case, but, um, let's talk about, you know, all of the. Make the stallion lowered the price of her song. That's a huge sign. That's a huge sign. That means she's trying to get her numbers to go up. Or how much was the song? 99 cents? All of the various algorithms that are now being used to suppress the song because they really do not want us to hit number one on the Billboard charts, obviously. Yeah. Well, it started, I mean, it started before the song got even released. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I distribute all my music independently through TuneCore. Uh, and TuneCore actually denied the release of the song. Um, before the video release, before anybody even knew you were on the song, uh, I had tried to submit and release the song through TuneCore, uh, and they turned it down, which is super frustrating because for an independent artist, TuneCore exists as the alternative to getting a record deal. And uh, they exist as the alternative to getting a distribution deal. Um, they're supposed to be there for independent artists who are. So now they going after, or not even going after, blocking and gatekeeping independent artists. That's messed up. I can't front. That's mad jacked up. Avoiding the mainstream uh, record label system of the music industry. So um, they denied the song on account of lyrical content um, before before the song even hit the internet. So that was our first obstacle. We ended up getting the song to iTunes and Amazon and Spotify. We ended up getting it out. Um, but, you know, it, the, uh, the obstacles didn't stop there. Uh, now, if you just take a quick peruse of the trending charts on YouTube right now, um, Megan The Stallion is at number one. And our new video, Facts, is at number two. And if it's insane, bro. Yeah, it is a clear sign. That's some something's not right. Something's not right in that. You just take two seconds to look at the metrics on the video. Yeah, some not right. uh, we're outperforming her in every metric. We have over a million more views than her. Uh, we have fifty thousand more comments than she has. Uh, wow. we're, we, we're outperforming her video is performing objectively worse than ours, and we're actually pulling ahead right now quite quickly. Um, and the further we get in the lead. Um, we're just, st we're stuck at number two. They're not allowing us to pass Megan and hit that uh, number one spot. So, you know, whether that's uh, YouTube sort of um, disagreeing with, with. Yeah, that's insane. I think, and I can't prove it. It's that woke agenda right there. That's that woke agenda, man. Right? It's as simple as a button. 
the controversial nature of our song or, you know, Megan signed to Rock Nation. Rock Nation's part of Universal. Universal has a relationship with YouTube. And I'm sure that Universal has invested so much money uh, into YouTube over the years that I don't know if there's some sort of backdoor agreement where they're saying like, hey, we, we don't care. I can't prove that. Oh, I, I can't prove that. There's no evidence. I can't prove it. But starting to feel like that. But once again, can't prove it. Uh, how many views these guys get. We don't care how viral their video goes. Megan is staying at number one. Um, in my best estimation, that's kind of what's going on. So uh, our video is the top performing video on YouTube, bar none right now. Uh, and they're not letting us trend at number one. And by the way, all credit to you and Nova for that. Nova does an amazing job. I mean, she, she directed this beautifully and the editing is is incredible. I mean, again, it makes it look like I can rap, which is an amazing thing. Have you ever heard of data brokers? Those are the middlemen collecting and selling all those digital footprints you leave online. Mm -hmm. Yo, shout out to, to Ben. Batman, Green Lantern. The, the hell is that ad playing for? On the, and was that the woman from Mad TV? The hell she get a, a okay, never mind. That was great. That was insane. So many questions. So many questions now. That's, okay, that's why. Like, wow. Minds are things like there are only two genders, boys and girls. Where all the American flags go? That's the offensive stuff. And then if you just you know scroll over to Hiss, which is Megan the Stallion, because of course she makes her music for the. Thank like you. She the, her like her that. actual lyrics. I'm just gonna read her lyrics here because this is what I became famous in the rap community for is my reading of lyrics. This is like an actual lyric. This is the beginning of her song. Quote: I just want to kick crazy. this bleep off by saying f y'all. I ain't got to clear my name on an mfing thing. Every time I get mentioned, one of y'all. B A N words get 24 hours of attention. So yeah, she see she, that that's clearly saying there are not enough American flags is like exactly the same as whatever the hell it is that Megan the Stallion is doing. Clearly, I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna make sure that that the kids don't see damaging material, we got to stop Tom McDonald. Man, it's it's in our song. I think in the pre-chorus is uh um. We talked about not Sorry. promoting guns. We talked about not promoting drugs. We talked about uh, not turning people's sons into thugs and their right. daughters into hoes. And uh, it was a positive message, extremely positive. Uh, you know, we sort of spoke out against like what the status quo in hip hop is. Um, and and for some reason, uh, you know, <clears throat> we're, we're, we're treated, we're, we're living in some sort of upside down, backwards uh, freak show. Uh, and it's, it just seems like the most destructive material, uh, and you know, hip hop is full of a lot of destructive material, the, the promotion of, of violence, the romanticizing sure. of, 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 of mental health and prescription drugs. Uh, um, he's not lying, glorifying it straight and glorifying. You got these kids who want to be rappers thinking that that's what they got to do. We got to be on all this other stuff. It's, it's, it's really nasty. So yeah, he's not wrong at all. Recreationally, it's not um, it seems like those things uh, tend to get the most um, mainstream attention, and anything that speaks out against that, uh, you know, especially in our case, um, is has been suppressed. So um, yeah, it's like it's almost as if they want to sort of indoctrinate that. You know, the the the, the demograph for for hip hop is like like uh 19 to 35 year old uh white american youth like that's the primary demograph um it? It, al it almost seems like there is a, a a conscious effort to sort of destroy and dismantle and dilute that generation and any that's crazy wow i didn't know the exact like stats but that's that's wow yeah he came here to cook he's not playing all right Tom Ainge is nice with the lyrics. He, he good with the explanations and stuff. Anything else? Uh, like I would, I would argue point. to say that our song is actually the, the total opposite of that. It's, it's empowering people. Uh, it's, it's, it's hopefully encouraging people to stand up and speak their mind and not be afraid to have an unpopular opinion or be quote unquote offensive. Um, it seems like those things uh, are sort of tried. They try to hide them and they don't, and, and, and they, and they sort of shove this other destructive material into those kids faces 
And, you know, I was one of those kids at one point in time when I, when mm-hmm. I started making music, that's the music I was listening to. And that led me to, uh, years and years and years of alcoholism and poor mental health and all types of things. So I know firsthand how destructive that content can be. Yeah. If you constantly listening to it, it can have an influence on you for sure. For, for sure. It was definitely at a young age. Yeah. And, uh, we've made a yeah. conscious effort, uh, to, to sort of combat that in our music. And, and we're the ones that are being suppressed on the, on the YouTube charts and, and refusing to release our music through TuneCore. It's, yeah, it, it really is like some sort of upside down backwards freak show. 100%. Well, you know, it, it is, it is crazy. Uh, not quite as crazy as the fact that again, you and I have the number one charting tune on planet earth right now, or at least in the United States on, on iTunes. But if people want to get us to that billboard number one that we openly call for in the song, what's the best way for people to do that, Tom? So that's the thing. We have, uh, you know, it's Monday now. We have until Thursday. Gotta go and check that out. I want him to be able to fully get the message off, man. But yeah, you gotta go and support that. Go and check it out, man. Drop some comments. Thursday morning. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have three days for everybody out there. If you're watching this right now, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of you, if even half of you guys decided to go over to iTunes or go over to Amazon and download Ben and I's new song, it's called Facts. If you search Facts by Tom McDonald or Facts Ben Shapiro, it'll come up right away. You can't just search Facts on iTunes or Amazon because uh, the, the search bar has been suppressed. You have to put in Facts Tom McDonald Ben Shapiro. That's crazy. Then it will populate. Uh, so download Facts. That's insane. It should pop up immediately with all the attention it's getting. You would think it'd be one of the first things that pop up. So yeah, it might be suppressed for sure. On but I cannot confirm or deny. I don't know for sure. I don't work for the company. iTunes or Amazon. And if we can accumulate enough downloads in the next three days, uh, we will end up at number one on the billboard charts. And uh, like I've said, um, not only Ben did an incredible job uh, with his first rap song ever, um, Ben might be the only person on the internet that is publicly more despised than I am. So uh, not only would a number one on Billboard be That's incredible crazy. for Ben and really fun for me, uh, but it would be an absolute slap in the face to the music industry. Uh, this is the last thing that they want. They don't want this song at number one, and they certainly don't want Ben, who has publicly criticized the genre many not times. Lying. They do not want Ben at the top of the Billboard charts, and we have the opportunity to do that. Not lying, it would be a dope troll, right? It would be a dope troll. A lot of people get mad. Look at how mad people got because Nicki Minaj gave them credit. Think about that. So yeah, it would be a nice troll. That together. <laughs> so head to iTunes, head to Amazon, download Facts by Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro, and let's rub the music industry's face in a massive, massive win. That's funny. Yeah, I think that they both were cooking. Um, I definitely think that that whole Meg Thee Stallion thing looks real fishy. looks real super iffy. And I hope that, you know, the fans can rally up and go support them and check out the song. Because it really is an amazing song. I think it's dope as heck. Ben Shapiro definitely surprised me. Surprised me and impressed me. But you guys check it out. Tell me what your opinion is down below. Wow. It's wild out here. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BX Beast Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. 
The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.